Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will speak about the facade as you see we get now nice facade so how you can create this facade there's some principles and some the new future for you guys let's start it and before you will continue to watch this tutorial I highly recommend you go to the link below check first, first my patreon after that check my game store and after all of them check the previous video about the facade this is really important maybe you will find your answer on your question in previous video for those who already did these things thank you guys we will continue so and the first thing what I want to speak with you guys um, about the facade uh, you should create separate your levels here the a really good example for you guys as you see this is this level this one group and that level this other group actually this is same group but uh, I mean you should separate your levels and after that you will just copy it like instance so if I will change something here it's immediately change in this part so if you have the huge building as this one of course you can control by this way your facade it's really easy and really important to get your work more properly and more clear this is first thing let's uh, speak about the uh, second thing it's about the curtain walls so you should use your curtain wall let's go to the edit group and i will show you what i mean if i will uh, choose this window it's not just a window this is curtain wall as you see the curtain wall so what i will what i have from this curtain wall i control i can control it immediately really in this uh, how's it graphical control I have the graphical control I can drag and drop for example here now see I changed size of the, my window and for example this uh, frame this frame actually this is sweep so where you can find this sweep uh, this is standard uh, Revit element you can find it in under the wall just open uh, the walls and you will find it here the wall sweep Wall sweep using the profile. Profile you can create uh, in Revit family. We will do today. No worries about that. So you have the different uh, sweeps like horizontal and vertical. So the horizontal it means you can uh, locate like this. So let's locate here. And you can create some nice, mm, nice frame for your window. Uh, you can actually do whatever you want. So we did it. Let's apply it, and you will we will get now some uh, strange, uh, I mean strange facade because uh, I just uh, applied on the some some way on the wall. As you see now, model it's uh, really big. My model that's why it's a uh, long generate. And I will say, you remember I said about uh, uh, groups. You see, uh, when I change it here, it changed here, here. And everywhere where I'm using the group, that's why it was the a bit the long. But anyway, you will keep your time. One times you will change, and it will change everywhere immediately. So and as you see, we applied our profile. So you can create any profile what you want, any the complex what you want, and place it on your facade. So the first uh, advice use wall sweep and use reveal we will speak more about sweep but now we will integrate it to the our wall let's do it for that one i will go to somewhere to the side uh, i will create i don't know like just a wall let's create some the wall we will create the stacked walls you know what this means stacked walls i hope uh, this means uh, we have the two different walls in one. So it means like you place it one wall, but Revit will place two different walls. So as you see, we can create like this the first level, first level of our building with a bit of set on the corner. So how you can create it? Just uh, go to the wall, find here the uh, last one stacked wall under stacked wall and use any what you have there in the uh, standard template of course you have the stacked wall uh, sorry this is my graphic card it's nothing nothing wrong here let's go to the edit type of this wall and what we have here as you see we have here the section of this wall 
let's go inside and you see we have two different walls hit here one wall and here the second wall so what we can do we can make offset of these walls maybe on that side that side which one for example zero and we change the position of that wall let's uh, we'll do the here back and maybe here it will uh, extend like to 200 and as you see we uh, extended it let's make here the zero and here we are also we can change the type of the wall of course i'll change the zero you, you can see this is really nice so you can control your wall by uh, this stacked wall. This is really cool. You can use the first first for first level. So I will cancel that one because I want to show you the something else. Let's go to the wall and as I said here you will find the sweep wall uh, sweep for the wall. And of course you can use it. It's like the head for the for your the walls. Let's apply it and as you see we get really nice thing for the, your first level, maybe the second level, who knows. Also you have here the reveal, reveal doing the same thing but inside the your wall. As you see we can place it one and let's say ok and we get a nice reveal. You can put it in, uh, here as much as you want, even the vertical one, if you want of course. Uh, so to create the... Um, profile for that uh, you should go to the family and create the profile if you don't know how to do that we will do it no worries so uh, let's see the other type so I will check uh, I will choose the my wall and I will create the section box because uh, I want to see only my walls and as you see my section box it's not right for that one I will use the um, PyRabbit and I want orient it to the this face so let's do it and as you see my section box now on the right position so use the pyravit this is free work more faster and more smarter so let's create the other type of the wall this is just simple wall i will create some simple wall here and what we can do is just some wall just select your wall let's go to the edit type and let's go for the edit we, we now in the edits here the our profile and here we can apply our sweeps so it sweeps will be uh, immediately um, to join to your wall so it will it will be like uh, one single object let's uh, apply some uh, some sweep let's add some sweep and I already here have the some sweep and let's say okay let's check what what's going on here as you can see I get my sweep so of course you can control it here you can uh, place it what whenever you want for example you want to make the distance let's make like uh, 2000 for example why not and let's say okay and as you see I extended uh, I think I need like uh, 6000 let's say we will see apply yes we need like a 6000 on the um, on the top of the our wall and I will do some uh, ex offset. I won't say extrusion, sorry, but it's it's kind of like extrusion. So let's make a 50. I think yes, I gotcha. So let's go to the let's say OK because uh, now I have the, this wall inside of my project. It's OK, and as you see, we get a sweep inside this wall. If I will choose the wall, I will choose this uh, the sweep too. But if I will choose the wall here, I cannot cho choose the sweep. So this is difference. And if you will continue your wall, for example, let's say you want to continue your wall. Where is the, the my join? Uh, where is my joints? Ah, it's here. No, it's not here. It's on the same in the same position. Sorry. So if you will continue, it's uh, you can continue your uh, sweep or you can continue your wall. If you will continue your wall, for example, sweep will continue too. So it's really cool. You can uh, you you can control it, and if you will go to the inside this project, of course you can also the modifier returns. So what does it mean? If I will choose that one, you can do corner like this. Right, cool. If I will go back, you will get it like uh, the slice slice piece. So this is 
uh, everything about the uh, sweep and reveal this is really cool thing uh, you will get the if you will work very well with this uh, tool you will get uh, uh, this kind of the, this facade without not any problem and as I said, how to create your own profile. So let's go to the family and we will go now to the uh, new one and let's create the new family. Here you should find the metric profile. Let's find the profile. You can find it here. Profile, profile hosted, whatever you want. Reveal, even reveal profile. So you can create whatever you want and we will choose profile one. So let's choose it and let's say OK. Let's open up. As you see, we get uh, our view uh, to create our profile. Here we have only the tool line. So let's create by line. I don't know, I will create something interesting and incred incredible. Uh, let's create something like maybe this one. I will use the trim. I will do this fast because it's no matter about that. I think uh, the you understand how it's work. Let's make it like maybe like this and I will leave like that. So here is my profile. Now I will save it. Save it uh, whenever you want. Mm, let's save it like reference model and prof. Let's say profile one. Why not? Okay, okay, okay. So we save it and now load to the project and close. Uh, here is my here my facade. Let's say OK. So now let's go. Uh, for example, where is my profile? Uh -huh, it's here. For example, as you can see, this is my reveal. Pro uh, this is my sweep profile. Let's go inside. And now here, the under profile will change to the our one profile one. And let's say OK. Just wait a few seconds because we are using the groups and now it's a rendering process. Let's the uh, sweep I couldn't sweep. It's okay. Oh, I need to say the del delete. Sorry. First, uh, I will go into the this one and I'll say okay. And here, as you can see, we get our profile. But this is wrong side, so we should change it. How we can do that? We should go inside to our profile again. So let's go. Uh, let's find our profile this here and I will sweep it I mean that I will mirror it let's use the command mirror and now I get it like this and like this I will delete it and I will load inside of the project yes you want to save now yes of course I want to save it and I want to overwrite existing version. Now Revit will regenerate our profile and model. Just wait it. And now as you see we get everything on the right position on the right side. So we need just prepare these things because our profile is a bit smaller than I want. Of course you can go back again to your family to your ways mm, my family of, the, of this profile I will find it uh -huh, it's here and of course you can change the size of this profile let's change the size now I will use the scale so SK or you can use that one and let's rescale it for example we will do like this bigger and maybe I will make it like this I will use the move. Let's load to the our project. Let's say OK and let's overwrite it again. And now we will get what we want. So I mean the nice real facade. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.